Doc Ellis, Oklahoma City, talking about federal workers' comp and how sometimes supervisors don't take all the forms you've given them and forward it on to the Office of Workers' Compensation Programs, it's called OWCP. They're supposed to do it within 10 days. There are great bad things that can happen to a supervisor that doesn't. Sometimes they do it maliciously. They just lose the records, which is wrong. But sometimes it's just, you know, they don't know they're supposed to do it in 10 days. Now, if you go to ellisclinic.com, you can print out a bunch of worksheets that I've got here, handouts. One of the best ones is checklist of what to do when you file a claim, how to file the different claims, what happens when this, with the supervisor, what to do. And then I have one on supervisors delaying filing your claim and forwarding this, the, the information on so that your claim can be accepted and you can get the treatment you want. It'll go into more detail, but don't feel too slighted when this happens. This happens very frequently. Sometimes it's due to the unconscious, subconscious bias people in America have against anybody who files a claim because we know they're all faking. And so we have a supervisor making a medical decision. And I really don't give a damn about any supervisor or anybody else who makes a medical decision until they've had a medical degree and done a physical exam. So don't tell me about a video or what you see across the desk. You need a medical exam to make those kind of determinations. And malingering is a very, very difficult diagnosis and it can't be made in one visit and can't be made in five minutes that I've seen some people do. So. Stand your ground, get your rights, and if I can help, just go to ellisclinic.com.